It's good looking. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Shooting News Weekly channel. We're out here at Copperhead. Where the f are we? Copperhead Creek. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to the Shooting News Weekly channel. We're out here at Copperhead Creek Shooting Club. I'm Jeremy. I'm Dan. And we have a very cool new optic that I saw at SHOT Show and was oddly excited about. Uh, this is from Zero Tech Optics, as you can see ah, here. And this is called the Thrive HD 1 to 4X Prism. So it is a prism sight. It's not a red dot. It's not a typical uh, rifle scope, but it's the first prism that is actually uh, zoomable. It has variable power magnification between 1X and 4X. And it's a true 1X. It can be used absolutely both eyes open like a red dot. And it has a bright illuminated reticle it has two big rubberized buttons on this side for up and down for brightness settings. Now, if you hold both, it switches between green illumination, which do you prefer that? Much, much more. Much, um, I agree. Also prefer green, much prefer green. I guess the science says that it's X times more visible to the human eye. And when it's sunny out here in Texas, the red is very easy to get washed out. The green, mm -hmm. not so much, but Maybe if I have a clip-on thermal in front of this, I would like a red that's not quite as bright at night because that green, it's a lot. Um, so being able to switch between the two, super cool. It has a nice reticle in it. And then really the reason that you would want a prism instead of like a red dot is that it has an actual etched reticle. It's etched in the glass, it's black, just like a normal rifle scope. So even if it's off, it looks like you're looking through a normal rifle scope. You have a nice black reticle and Unlike red dots, if you have astigmatism or uh, various assorted just, you know, eye prescription issues, there's no blurring. That reticle is crisp. Even at full bright green, it's crisp, which is awesome. Um, so I have, you know, on this other gun here, this piglet takedown or this half of the piglet takedown, I have a primary arms 1X prism and ZeroTech makes 1X prisms and stuff as well. Uh, love them. I love little prism optics. This is the first variable power one, which is just so dang cool. At 1X, huge field of vision, really crisp glass. I think that's what I was most impressed about with this was the quality of the glass. Yeah. Uh, Incredible. Light transmission, good. really, really good. And your battery dies, you still have a reticle because yep. it's etched. Very crisp and clear. ZeroTech will get like the best quality glass that's available from Japan for some of their lines. I think some of it comes from Philippines or something. Always decent. This is as good as I've seen. The glass mm -hmm. is fantastic. And the other thing about doing a clip-on uh, thermal like I have over here. So if I actually attach the barrel to this, what you'll find is that if you have a variable power optic, typically you put the thermal in front of it and somewhere around two to 2.4 X magnification is that sweet spot for getting the screen to show in your optic, like perfect and fill the corners. So having one to four on this makes it really ideal for that. And of course, four X zoom for hunting out to 300 yards. You can be pretty dang precise with it. One yep. X again, both eyes open. It is a red dot. 4X is incredibly useful. It's basically like a variable A cut. Um, yeah, it is a lot like that. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool form factor. Roughly the same size, probably about the same weight. Um, and the fact that you can switch between red and green, that's really useful too. Comes with a nice mount. Yes, very nice mount. I say, so two complaints. Go ish, ahead. Nitpicks. Um, the zoom ring is on the front, which isn't a deal breaker or anything, but it's weird, right? We're, we're all used to it being mm -hmm. here. So, I mean, it's still easy to reach. With the, the eye relief, which is just a couple inches on it, it's still going to be right here. Um, it's a little stiff. It may be breaking in a little, get a bunch of use on it, but it's not, it's not easy. And I don't think it's on the front by choice. I think because it's a prism and the moving lens, they probably had to put it up here. Yep. Uh, it is nicely knurled. You have a little throw lever on the top. Uh, feels good, but... Easy to do. Still a diopter good. adjustment in the back. Yep. Put some rounds through it, sir. I can get it. You will, I did not chamber it. Yes. Nice. 
Nice. nice. Very so those nice. are CCI mini mags through the Angstat Vanquish 22 yep. integrally suppressed barrel. Sounded fantastic. One of those was just barely supersonic. The rest yeah. of them were sub. So it with the ports is bringing them subsonic. That sounds really good. Exactly. Um, great optic. I, it's not going to live on this. I just happened to have this gun out today. Black Collar Arms is doing the piglet chassis in the standard, the non takedown version. Um, and it didn't have an optic, so I threw it on here. But this is a great fit for a hunting rifle, especially kind of Texas brush country hunting, uh, AR-15, AR. AR-10, or yeah, even a kind of a battle rifle AR-15. Yeah. Home defense type thing. One to four is Fantastic. legit. Fantastic. Price, 599 MSRP. 599 MSRP. So uh, I'd figure around 499 retail, likely, I guess. Don't know. It's probably true. It's pretty new. Um, a lot of the really small, no magnification or like a 3X magnification prisms are coming in at 359 to 400 ish bucks. Right. Um, with the dual illumination on this, the one to four X zoom, it's that that's not bad. And the glass is amazing. The glass is absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful and it's just an incredibly useful zoom range. Um, and a very, very versatile optic. optic. I want yeah. one. Bad. Yeah, I want one too. Yeah. I wasn't planning on buying it, but. I, I like it. Um, if I did my job, I rolled over some images actually through this and some video and some pictures of the reticle and stuff. So hopefully you know what that looks like if I haven't forgotten. And if I did my job, please like and subscribe. We'll see you out here on the Shooting News Weekly channel next time. And that again, that's the Thrive HD 1-4X Prism from Zerotech. All right, see you.